Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to add using the bar model. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, students will use a bar model, also called a part-part-whole model, to solve addition problems. A bar model shows two parts combined into one and can be used with adding to and putting together types of addition problems. This model is an especially powerful tool for representing a problem with an unknown addend. Students will connect the visual representation of the bar model to writing the equation. Let's take a look at an example where students will use a bar model to add. Students may typically see a problem like this, where they are asked to represent the problem in a bar model and write an equation to solve. The top part of the model displays the two parts or the two add-ins. The bottom is the whole or the total. To solve this problem, students will determine it is asking for the total number of dogs. So that is the unknown part of the model. Since first there are five dogs and four more join, those are the two parts. Students will fill in the model and use it to write the equation and solve. This is how students use a bar model to solve an addition problem when the two add-ins are known. Now, let's take a look at an example where students will use a bar model to add with a missing add-end. Students may see a problem like this where they are given the total or whole and only one of the parts or add-ends. Students will use the bar model to help them determine what they are solving for. Since the problem states that there are seven cookies and two different types, students will see that seven is the whole or total. They know that three of the cookies are chocolate chip, so they can fill in one part of the model with a three. This also represents one of the add-ins. Now students can see from the model that they are solving for a missing part, the oatmeal raisin cookies. Students will count on from three until they get to seven. They can use their fingers to count or draw circles to represent the equation. Since three is four away from seven, they will determine that there are four oatmeal raisin cookies and fill in the missing part. This is how students use a bar model to solve addition problems with a missing addend. A common error is that students might put the numbers in the wrong place on the bar model. For instance, in the last example, students may record the three and the seven as both of the parts in the model. This would result in an answer being 10, which is unreasonable. Ask students if their answer makes sense. Since there are seven cookies total, could there possibly be 10 oatmeal raisin cookies? Having students label the numbers in the bar model and the equation could also be helpful. Students would see that the total number of cookies was given rather than both of the parts. Students will later extend their knowledge of the bar model to subtraction. Using the bar model will help students relate addition and subtraction and to determine which operation to use to solve a problem. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the addition concepts set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.